Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to G-Free Gamer for this one. Amy attacks with Shakedown Heavy, while Nick controls Narset Parter of Veils. Given that Amy has already drawn her normal card for the turn, can Nick have Amy draw a card with Shakedown Heavy's ability to remove it from combat? Okay, so to answer this question, we'll first need a little bit of background on how Shakedown Heavy's ability works. As you can see here, this templating indicates that having Amy draw a card is a cost that's paid as part of the resolution of that ability. If we read on a bit further, we can see what might have caused Nick to think that this trick should work. The If They Do clause on Shakedown Heavy only checks to see if Nick chose to pay that optional cost, not whether Amy actually got to draw a card. This means that as long as Nick chooses to have Amy draw a card, the Shakedown Heavy will get removed from combat even if Amy never actually gets to draw one. Unfortunately, this is where the fun police are going to step in. See, there's also this rule here, which says that it's not legal for Nick to choose to pay a cost that includes an impossible action. If you're interested, this rule is also the reason why you can't crack a fetch land if you have a Platinum Empyreon out. Applying it to the situation from the original problem statement though, we can see that because Amy can't draw a card, Nick can't choose to pay a cost that includes her drawing one. Therefore, he cannot remove Shakedown Heavy from combat. Maybe now some people are wondering what that sentence in the original rule was talking about if it doesn't apply to cases like this. Well, consider if Nick doesn't have a Narset, but maybe Amy has an Obstinate Familiar. If Nick has Amy draw a card with Shakedown Heavy's ability, she can just skip that draw with Obstinate Familiar. Shakedown Heavy would still be removed from combat in that instance because Nick chose to pay the optional cost, even though the events that actually happen in the game do not match those specified in that cost. This logic would hold for any other replacement effect that might replace the card draw with something else. For example, the one associated with the dredge ability, or maybe tomorrow is Ami's familiar. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.